A dangerous gangster has escaped from prison. A client is giving him bundles of money for every crime he commits. Three police teams have to prevent this. The policemen have to be quick, because as soon as the gangster has collected one million euro, he has achieved his objective and can leave the city. Can the policeman catch the gangster before he earns one million? The gangster first has to steal objects in the city before he can commit any crimes. For example, a rope ladder, explosives or a knife. These objects are shown on the gangsters and police screens as well as on your map. On this screen and map, you can also see the 10 locations where he can commit a crime. The gangster needs certain objects for each crime. For example, at location 1, the gangster needs a transmitter. At location 2, explosives. At some locations, he needs two or even three objects, such as at place 5, chloroform, a truck and a knife. The gangster earns money for every crime he commits. You can also see on the map how much he earns at each location. For example, at location 1, 200,000 euros. At location 6, 400,000 euros. At location 5, even 600,000 euros. The gangster therefore has to collect objects before he can commit any crimes. He can fully determine for himself the sequence of the crimes that he commits. He is also free to choose which objects he wants to steal. The three police teams and the gangster have telephones with GPS. The police teams can use these to see where they and the other teams are. You can recognize your team from the red box. The gangster can only see himself on the map. You can look at the map in detail by first moving the selection window with the navigation button, then zooming in by pressing the button. You can then see all the street names as well as very clearly where the gangster's objects are. Zoom out by pressing the button again. Every six minutes, the policemen see the position of the gangster on the map, and every three minutes, the gangster sees the position of the policeman. The icons stay in place until the new position appears. You can see how long you still have to wait from the countdown. There is a radar line at the bottom of the screen. On this radar, the policemen can constantly see how far away from the gangster they are. But the gangster also has a radar. For example, the red police team is 50 to 100 meters away from the gangster. The green team is 100 to 150 meters away. And the blue team, 150 to 200 meters. When a police team gets closer to the gangster, it moves to the left, and vice versa. If there are no police teams on the radar, the gangster is more than 200 meters away from the policeman. Or the gangster has switched on a jammer. More about the jammer in a moment. The policemen receive a message whenever the gangster steals an object. For example, the gangster has stolen a knife. The policemen also receive a message whenever the gangster commits a crime. For example, the gangster has committed a crime at location 5. The policemen have to trap and shoot down the gangster before he earns 1 million euro. You shoot by pressing the button at the bottom right of the screen. But watch out, the gangster can also shoot a police team. You can only hit the target if you are within 30 meters of your opponent. If the gangster is shot down by a police team, the game is over and the policemen have won. If the gangster shoots down a police team, this team has to go back to its headquarters to be able to play again. It is automatically brought back to life there. If a shot doesn't work, creep closer and try again. It is also easier to hit the target in an open space, away from high towers and buildings. But don't shoot wildly, because you only have three bullets. When you want to reload, go to your headquarters and your pistol reloads automatically. The gangster gets three types of defensive tools at the start. Number one, the jammer. When the gangster activates the jammer, the policeman's radar screens are switched off for three minutes. And for these three minutes, the position of the gangster is also not shown on the map. The policeman will then have to wait six minutes for the gangster's new position. But if the gangster picks up an object during this time, or commits a crime, it is still reported to the policeman. Number two, the bulletproof vest. When the gangster activates the bulletproof vest, he is protected for five minutes against three bullets from the police. After three bullets or five minutes, the vest no longer works. Number three, the mine. The gangster can hide a mine for the policeman anywhere. This mine works with a radius of 30 meters. 
If a police team steps on it, they have to go back to their headquarters. If the gangster steps on it himself, the policemen win. Take note, a mine only works after one minute of it being activated. It continues to be active until someone steps on it. The gangster gets two mines, two jammers and one vest at the start. The policemen do not have an action menu. They only have the right button for shooting the gangster. If the gangster presses the left button, the action menu opens. To start the game, he selects Start the game and presses the navigation button to confirm. The gangster must go to the exact position of an object to steal it. He has to zoom in to make sure that he's exactly on top of the object. Then he has to select Take object and press the navigation button to confirm. To activate a mine, he has to select Activate Mine and confirm with the navigation button. The mine only starts to work after one minute. To put on the bulletproof vest, he has to select Activate Bulletproof Vest. The gangster has to go to a crime scene to commit a crime. He has to zoom in to make sure that he's exactly on the right spot. Then he has to select Commit Crime and press the navigation button to confirm. The Objects Overview selection opens a summary of all the objects that a gangster has. Before the game begins, the gangster chooses a secret base. This becomes his starting place and the place where he can reload bullets. The policeman cannot see where this base is. The gangster first sees the policeman's position after three minutes. The icons for the three police teams then appear on his screen. The policemen first see the gangster's position after six minutes. The radar works in the meantime, so it's possible that a police team can get close to the gangster. Don't get too involved with what is happening on the screen and keep a good look out for traffic and other dangers. Respect the traffic laws and watch out carefully for yourself and others. Policeman, your target is now entering the city. Shoot him down before he gets his hands on a million.